Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Now, this week, they're having press events and they're having press conferences for the big fight between Mayweather and Pacquiao that's going to take place this Saturday. I hope by now everyone who's had access to any of these events understands just how behind the times boxing is in terms of promoting its fights, <clears throat> in terms of connecting with viewers and sponsors. Let's try to help the sport we love. You know, these old school promoters, they're great. They don't connect with advertisers as well as, let's say, a Google or a Yahoo or a Microsoft or a Facebook does. Right? They don't. Understand, as you're watching this video, this video might play after an embedded ad has played, an ad embedded by Google, right? Maybe right now as I'm talking, there's a little scroll at the bottom of the screen that's an ad monetizing this video. Understand when you watch a baseball game and they have that view from center field and you see the pitcher and you see the catcher, then you see the area behind the umpire. Sometimes you'll notice a corporate logo on that area. That's superimposed using computer-generated graphics, right? Sometimes that logo will change from inning to inning. Now, if you're at the ballpark, you might actually look down there and notice that the logo is not there. You might actually realize that this is a high-tech form of advertising. So let me say this, rather than have a promoter, however well-intentioned, go door to door, begging corporate sponsors with whom that promoter has a relationship to actually support a fight. Why don't we actually try to be more creative? Right? Why don't we actually try to allow an outfit like Google to sell advertising for a fight. Have Google be the promoter for the fight. Right? You have a choice. You can have Oscar De La Hoya or Bob Arum try to talk with sponsors they know. Or you could open it up the way Google opens up its advertising. Where advertisers actually bid. <clears throat> it's a bidding process to advertise during specific parts of an event, right? Sometimes the ads, as we're seeing with the Super Bowl, actually become more talked about than the event, right? Wouldn't that generate far more ad dollars? More importantly, when you're looking at a fight, when you look at the ring apron, when you look at the ropes, when you look at the canvas, isn't all of that prime space for superimposing a CGI corporate logo, right? You could put creative ads that even can move, right? Clickable ads that you could click on between rounds. You're going to watch the pay-per-view and you're not going to see any ads during the pay-per-view, right? You're going to hear cornermen Say, hey, you're doing well, son. Keep it up. Right? And stuff like that. That's what they're going to show you between rounds. Right? You're not going to be seeing clever advertisements embedded on the ropes. You can have banners in the background that don't overshadow the athletes. Think about an NFL football game. Think about that first down marker. Right? Think about how you see guys run for the first down, but that imaginary line across the field doesn't prevent you from seeing the athletes. 
right? You can do that in the ring. You can sell rounds to advertisers, right? Everyone knows that no matter how fast the fight ends, that fight's going to have a round one. You can imagine the advertiser who buys round one, who gets the privilege of imprinting their ad on the canvas, perhaps on ring aprons, perhaps on the ropes, right? We're there watching the fighters. We're not really there to see the crowd that much, right? You can have imaginary banners on the ropes that allow you to see the crowd but that also allow you to see that this round has been brought to you by Coca-Cola, right? You can imagine in the bidding process, the first round would probably go for the highest bid, right? Then you can have the second round, the third round. Depending on how it goes, you can imagine different rounds will have different prices. If the fight stops after three rounds and you've bought the fourth round, they can refund your money. More importantly, if viewers use the one minute period between rounds to click on your ads, understand when you're dealing with outfits like Google, Yahoo, and Microsoft, right? They can actually charge the advertiser a premium for the clicks. Now, let me say, you have a lot of imaginative people in boxing. I don't see a lot of imaginative promoters, right? If your goal in hiring a promoter is to get out word of the fight, how could you possibly do that better than Google could, right? Online, Google has a presence. On your mobile phone, Google has a presence. On your tablet, Google or Microsoft has a presence, right? Understand we're moving now to internet-based television, right? Google would have a presence. Google even has a presence in terms of marketing this video, right? You're able to see it uninterrupted after looking at ads, <clears throat> right? So the point is, we've now reached a day and time where the savviest people in advertising, in my opinion, are these high-tech companies that can embed computer-generated graphics on football fields, behind home plate in baseball stadiums, and can change them from inning to inning, quarter to quarter, play to play, right, round to round. Right? The amount of advertisers who advertise on Google far exceeds the amount of advertisers who advertise on a Golden Boy Promotions event or a Top Rank event right? or a Goosen Promotions event or a Main Event event. Right? So what I hope happens, given that certain fighters, Vladimir Klitschko, a guy who has been successful on pay-per-view in the past, right, will occasionally decide to fight off pay-per-view to reach out to his fans. Given that you've had a few pay-per-view fighters recently on network television, on PBC, right, uh, during time slots bought by, right, the entity backing them. In other words, an entrepreneur has come in and has paid the network for the time slot. The network hasn't paid them a licensing fee, right? Given that you have some hardcore entrepreneurs in the sport, isn't it time that we move away from the old guard, move toward the new guard, and start monetizing these fights the right way by embedding ads on the canvas? on the ring apron, right, on the ropes that change every round. In other words, rather than just have an ad on the ring apron as we do now, there for 12 rounds, can't you open this up to a bidding process? Think about the price 
advertisers pay just to have a 30 second ad or a one minute ad during the Super Bowl. Right folks, boxing rounds are three minutes. Right? What would an advertiser pay to have their logo on the canvas during round one of Mayweather Pacquiao? Let me point out too, the National Football League and Major League Baseball would not be as big and the National Basketball Association would not be as big as they each are if their finals, right, the World Series, the Super Bowl, the NBA Finals, were on pay-per-view. Maybe you'd have a small group of hardcore committed fans willing to pay money to see the athletic brilliance. But you're going to lose the fan who is willing to watch the event for free even when the event is heavily monetized by advertisements like the Super Bowl is. Doesn't the Super Bowl make a lot of money for everyone? Aren't sponsors willing to pay millions of dollars to be seen at that event? To have their products noticed at that event? Marketed at that event? Right? Isn't that what we need in boxing? This Mayweather Pacquiao fight could have been a financial windfall, just like every Super Bowl has been, right? While allowing tens of millions of people, not a few million people, but tens of millions of people, to watch it for free, free to them, right, on television. Understand, folks, the Super Bowl generates millions and millions of dollars right think about it think about if all that money went to just two guys and not the 50 odd guys on each team right so the sport of boxing needs to understand that technology has changed you can now embed ads you could market this better let's say you're a possible advertiser you know you might not advertise during a fight simply because you don't want to deal with some promoter talking to you about ad rates and this that and the other right but if you knew that there was an option being run by Google and if it were just a matter of you winning that auction to have your ad on the canvas for the second round right and if you know the parameters of what your ad could look like were properly spelled out keep in mind the logo doesn't have to take up the whole canvas. It can just be in every corner. It can just be on the ropes. Today, computers allow you to change things, right? You're watching a baseball game, and you'll notice after the pitcher throws a pitch, they'll put a box up above home plate. It doesn't hurt the game. It actually helps the game, right? You can have graphics, and you can put you know, uh, statements brought to you by IBM, Coca-Cola, AT&T, Amazon, right? Who's going to know how to advertise the fight better online than the online marketers? Now, with all due respect to Top Rank, Golden Boy, and all these other old school promoters, just to understand the sport of boxing hasn't yet grown up to match the technological prowess of the NFL or Major League Baseball. It just has it, right? It's as if boxing is still in the 1950s, right? Most people in your neighborhood probably are not going to buy this fight. The fight will be lucky if it hits, what, three million on the pay-per-view. Wouldn't boxing be better off with a mega fight like this, with international interests like this, with hotel rooms in Las Vegas going for over $1,500, with luminaries like Lennox Lewis wondering if he'll be able to get a ticket for the fight? Wouldn't the sport be better off if not 3 million households bought this on pay-per-view, but if it were broadcast to over 100 million households and got the kind of ratings the Super Bowl? gets right there was a time when boxing was king on television 
can't we put it there again with the help of modern technology, proper marketing, proper corporate sponsorship, right? The way Google operates its normal business, the way Facebook operates its normal business. Isn't it time that Google, Microsoft, Facebook play a bigger role in the sport of boxing, right? Keep in mind, too, boxing has additional latitude because the folks behind PBC have bought the time on the network. So they have a greater say than other sports which sell the rights to the network, right? The PBC people are still holding on to their rights. PBC, to you, I say, why not update the sport, right? Sell rounds. This first round brought to you by Budweiser, right? You can have things in the ring that aren't there for the live crowd. Right? Budweiser logo. Budweiser logo on the ropes. Budweiser logo on the ring apron. Right? Little graphics, just like that box that pops up in baseball. Little graphics. So it pops up and they can tell you the compu box numbers at the start of the round. Little ways to embed an advertisement in a useful video. Right? Think it over. My point is there's no reason why a sport where Vladimir Klitschko fights on HBO and gets the biggest ratings for a fight on HBO since 2012, right? There's no reason why a sport with this demand can't intersect with corporate sponsors the way modern technology allows that to happen, right? Think it over. And um, let's make it happen, right? Let's get more of these fights on free TV. Let's generate more money, right, with a business model that actually gets the sport more exposure. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here in the comment section to this video. If you have other proposals that you think can simplify the process for wannabe sponsors, right can make mega fights like this more of a Super Bowl than some event where only three million people are gonna buy it on the pay-per-view right if you can come up with ways to generate the kind of money that a World Series generates for baseball that a Super Bowl generates for football right if you can find a way to generate that kind of revenue for boxing while allowing for the network television exposure that those sports get leave those comments in the comment section to this video thanks for stopping by